My name is Helen Davis. I'm an employee of the DeWitt District Library, and I'm reading Beneath a Marble Sky by John Shores. Uh, this is this gentleman's debut novel. Uh, he has an interest in the historic aspect of Asia, and he discovered that no one had ever written a fictionalized novel about the construction of the Taj Mahal. Now, we've all heard that it's one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. Uh, many of us know that it was built by uh, a Shah as a mausoleum, a memorial for his wife. Uh, this happened in the 16th century. Uh, the name of the Shah was Shah Jahan. His wife was Mumtaz Mahal. His nickname, actually, was Taz. It was the name that he called her, which kind of evolved into Taj. That's where the name comes from, Taj Mahal. The author has completely fictionalized the, the conflicts that the family went through. Now, Mumtaz Mahal was unusual for a woman in that era in that her husband trusted her implicitly, often went to her for advice, which he followed. But um, he had two sons that were competing for the throne on his death. Uh, one was his accepted, established heir, but uh, instead of associating himself with any kind of political support. He was more of a scholar, which alienated people because uh, he advocated um, parity between the um, Muslims and the Hindus. Their family uh, was Muslim, which was a smaller population group in the area but they were the controlling influence. Uh, there was often conflict between the Muslims and the Hindus. But uh, there was also a daughter named Janahara. Uh, she was also an exceptional woman similar to her mother. Although she was married very young to a man that her father wanted to court politically, whom she did not love at all. They had a, a, a relationship that was very adversarial. And in her discontent, uh, Jahara supposedly became involved in the construction of the Taj Mahal. This is the story of the creation of the building, the conflicts that the family had. Um, it's a beautiful, evocative portrait of India during this time, um, the hardships that the everyday people faced, the incredible luxury that the ruling elite were able to avail themselves.